Hey guys, another knife review. Uh, this is not one that uh, I thought I was going to be doing, but I got distracted, got this one in, and I'm going to do this one first. Uh, the the account update that I did with the Bussy and the Swamp Rats or whatever, that's going to have to wait. I know, I'm sorry. But I got this one in. I actually got another one that I want to do uh, before them as well. So anyway, this is a Spyderco. Um, it is the Rock Lobster. Uh, it's a Jens Anso design. I don't know much of his work, but um, I really try not to get sucked into the custom knife makers. Big bucks, and it's big bucks that I don't have to spend. But I really like the look of this one, and this is based off of Jens Anso's uh, Rock Lobster. Um, this one Spider Coat took on and basically made it a production. Uh, the blade is a, it closed it, it's just really really hold on let me switch this to a it's just a really good looking streamlined package the blade it really rides right up there uh, they don't waste any space with it it's uh, foliage green or OD green whatever you want to call it G10 handles um, the blade is VG10 there's the blade itself now when I ordered this, I actually randomly got one of the Spider Co. Collectors numbers, 125. Um, I didn't think I was getting it, whatever, I use it. Not very hard, but you know, I use it at work, just opening boxes and whatnot. Not worried about it. Liner lock, nothing beefy. But it, uh, it does the job, I guess. Now I don't know, inside, I can see sort of uh, I can see the the stainless spacer there is one on each side or what should I say liner but it is inset it's not like a full liner it's like half a liner and it's inset into the G10 I don't think I'm gonna be able to get in there to show you but uh, actually maybe I can there is this like a digital zoom on this camera not very good but let's see what happens here Yeah, you can kind of see it. See where the shiny? That's the that's the liner in there, and that's the uh, the liner lock side. And there's the liner lock. Oh, look how just I hate digital zoom. Gets it all grainy and actually that's not too bad. You know whatever. So actually, I might be able to show you the texture of the G10 too. It's really nice G10. Just a, it's a really really nice texture. It's nothing too aggressive, but it feels really good. Let's zoom this out again. Very sharp. I've been using this for a while. It's not new anymore. Got it brand new, but I've been using it for a while, and I just didn't get around to doing the review. It has a very interesting feel in hand. I think it feels really good. A lot of people think it's an awkward design, but I think it's, uh, it's utilitarian. I think it's excellent. It's perfect slicer. Uh, I like the sheep's foot or Warren Cliff, whatever. I think it's sheep's foot style blade. I really like it a lot. It's nice and thin. Good steel. VG10. I haven't had any experience with it, uh, but I'm happy with this. So uh, The only other steel I've had Spider Co. in is the ZDP 189 and that was a stretch. But I ended up getting rid of it. Uh, it's having uh, slight, slight rust issues. Nothing crazy, but uh, I just, you know... I didn't have any tough cloth or oils or any of that. I know I should take care of my knives, but I just I didn't have any, and I didn't feel like messing with it. So I just uh, polished it off. It was only a tiny bit starting, and I just sold it off. Um, a really nice blade. I will get one back. That was one of my favorite Spider Cut models ever. Um, but I guess that's about it. It's nothing, nothing too much about it. It's a good looking blade. Some people love it or. Some people hate it, you know, I, I love it. I think it's a really great looking knife. Um, now, next up, I have, actually I got, uh, the last review I did was the, the LD20, the Phoenix flashlight. Um, I, since then, I got the PD30, the newer model with the clip. Uh, a little more knurling. I think this one looks great. And this one also has the R2 LED. Um, and you know what really sucks is 
They just came out with a special edition with an R4 LED. A um, couple bucks more. This one is 235 lumens. The R4 LED slightly bluer tint. I don't care. Uh, it puts out 265 lumens, same run times. I want it. I want it bad. But you know, I got these and these are nice. I also got a bunch of those uh, diffuser tips for it. Now the other really cool one I got, uh, this is a limited edition they just did for Christmas. Um, I just got this one in today. I won't go too far into it, but it is... Let me get this here. Focus. The PD-10 in titanium. Uh, I think it's called the PD-10 Titan. They're individually serial numbered. Uh, it's a that's a twist on light. And then this one actually uses the newest LED out. It uses an R5, the XPG R5 LED. I'm not going to go too much into it right now, but look at that little thing. It's a beast. 216 lumens out of this compared to 235 out of that. Both awesome lights, but uh, I'm going to do a review. Anyway, all right, if you guys need anything, let me know. Whatever. All right, later.